Hey, what's up, everybody? This is White, aka Ank Invader, here bringing you yet another tour review. And today we're taking a look at the uh, Fans Project TF Parallax TFX04 Protector Armor. That's right, uh, finally got my hands on a uh, Fans Project or third party company product. Uh, the thing is, the snag with this is I don't own it. Uh, the Protector Armor is not mine. This is. This isn't. Um. And you'll notice this one is the only Rodimus mold I have, the Battle in Space 2-pack one. I'm trying right now. Um, I'm not going to tell you who on the boards, uh, any website boards trying to buy a classic Rodimus or something like that. Don't go looking because I swear to God you snipe me. Whew. Uh, anyway. Uh, protector. And honestly, I guess the review won't really lack because of this because it's about... Protector, not really Rodimus, so this is just the shell. This could be any form of this mold. It could be a resin model, it could be Shattered Glass, NK Wild Rider, it could be anything really. And you can still get the point across of Protector, so I'm not really worried about this. Um, you can see the contrast with it, with uh, this brighter color. It doesn't match the greatest. Uh, the camera picks up a little bit uh, better uh, than uh, legitimately. You can kind of tell more from the top. Actually, not really. But uh, this is actually seemingly a lot brighter, and this is like it still doesn't look bad, uh, really at all. Um, it's just you can tell it's a different color. Um, I do really, really want this is like I said, this is not mine. Uh, a buddy of mine letting me borrow it for this review, and I need to return it tomorrow. It's kind of sad. I need to re return it. I'd like to borrow it a little bit longer. Maybe another time. Maybe another time. But yes. Protector, uh, you can see him with Rodimus inside here. Uh, the uh, six wheels, well, now they are. I wonder why. Normally, these all six wheels don't roll, but right now they are. I don't know why. Maybe it's this trigger down back here that's pushing up. I mean, yeah, I don't know, but here you have Rodimus right there. He sits right there where this uh, canopy or this. Uh, Visor comes over the windshield. This is his space Winnebago mode, and I like this a lot. Like, eh, it's a little bit too long for autos, but still looks really nice. Um, it's still very, very uh, futuristic, Cybertronian. Uh, space Winnebago, I mean, Space Winnebago isn't too... isn't too close to anything, really. It's Space Winnebago, I and mean, that means where they only need to go camping, so... or camping in... Uh, you can see a lot of the detail on it. It's really, really nice detail, especially right here. This, these embossed flames at the end of the embossed painted smokestacks that continue over here. That's really nice. And then you have the pipes. Uh, not really. I don't really consider these smokestacks or whatever. I don't really consider any of these smokestacks really. Just exhaust. But you have exhaust pipes still continuing all up through here as detail, and it looks really cool. These actually, I would have liked if these were painted uh, yellow, and th these were lights. That looked a lot better, and then you have extended pipes coming up through here. It would have made a lot more sense. And I don't know if these are still exhaust or anything. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. We're going to transform it. Take Rodimus out. Uh, we're gonna transform Rodimus real quick. Careful, careful, because it's cheap, cheap, cheap. Uh, just pretty much transform him into. The same. I hate unhooking this part. It's so awkward and so scary since it's such a cheap. F it should not be. Yeah. Lodged in there that well. Um, just, uh, yeah, I'm not going to really dwell on this. I'm not going to instruct it uh, because, like I said, the review is not for uh, Rodimus. It is for. God, I hate that. It is for Protector. This guy is just the shell. This guy's the key. The key, man. I'm the dude, man. Alright. Enough movie references. Let's go. Alright. 
and you want rodimus pretty much like that. Just neater. Doesn't matter. All right, and two focusing. Oh, nice. On protector. You want to keep them like this. You want to come. Oh, and also this sword's back here. Uh, this peg and that silver hole right there. Just right there. It's cool. Uh, we're going to set that gun off to the side. We're going to take this back here, raise it up. We're going to split it. We're going to take these panels right here and kind of separate them a little bit. And if you get it kind of right, I'm just kind of afraid to, uh, This the part will come out, which becomes his boot, which you want to hinge down, fold it all flat out, fold it up, or no, wait, we'll fold this around, snap it together. Pull that part over and heal up and just kind of get it out like that, just gentler. I didn't, I'm, not, I'm not meaning to take it out, that's why it seems so rough, but it's not. It's just coming out easier. Um, so once you get these boobs formed, just uh, sit them to the side. It's not like I said boobs, I said boots with a impediment. Uh, these become the arms, so you take them, hinge that out, take this part, hinge it to the opposite side, and fold down the elbow. And rotate the wrist. And this will be the uh, right arm, so keep it like that. And you do the same thing over here. And there you go. Then you take this part right here. Oh, this part is supposed to stay on. These parts uh, come packaged separate. You just pop those off and pop this back on. I don't know why this part's not um, attached or molded in and just painted or glued on. It doesn't really make sense. And then you want to take this piece off and separate it and to keep that piece off. Then you want to come into the station. Now, um, the friend of mine who let me borrow this, he told me not to take this out. Now. Uh, I know this is kind of a dick move, but I was messing with it just to see what it was like. I know Vangelis' review was uh, he took it out and it was really tight. This one is really not tight at all. I just put my thumb right there, put a little bit of pressure earlier, and it started sliding right out. So I just took it out. Um, but you want to come in here, fold that part down, then hinge all this down. Then you want to take it out. You don't want to take it out with that thing in it because you might slip and just take out the gun extension. Uh, we're still covering armor. You take this missile out, sit to the side for now, and take it, stick it in the gun like this. That's the rifle extension. God, my table is getting crowded. Um, we're going to take this part, extend it, take these black panels, fill them out, Flip everything out. Take this scope, flip it. And he didn't buy sidearm. Um, so, my apologies. And I'm not going to fold out the handles because I don't really plan on. You, you guys know he can hold it. Um, that's kind of a given. I, I hope it would be for a fully customized uh, third party product. I hope that he has a functioning, working base. So, kind of a given. Um, so. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, then you have all these pieces down here, and you're like, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? Um, I think we're going to crash in a little bit more, and I forgot, we are going to... Oh, God. We are going to take a look at Carrier. Carrier reminds me of a Hot Wheels little guy. I don't know why, maybe it's just the engine in the cockpit, or anything like that. You see the engine right there? Or the colors, the way they're matched up and everything, or the wheels. I don't know, but he just reminds me so much of a little Hot Wheels car. And I like it. I dig it. Flip out this piece, and you take this blue flame missile, and you put it in there. It looks nice. And you can also put uh, the gun extension up here, which I like. It just carry um, The battle station has two barrels that are singular moved. This uh, clear etched in scope. I'm getting Skype messages. Sorry. Um, they are posable on their own. Yeah, this isn't the most efficient battle station. If Hasbro released this, my god, people would hate hate it. But, I mean, we can't really be uh, 
Vegas, I mean, it is a ballast station and it is Rodimus, so it is kind of more efficient than BFG. Um, but I can't really complain about City Commander because mine's still naked and I've yet to get City Commander. Uh, regardless, we are going to start attaching pieces. Uh, these boots, a lot easier than City Commander. You just slip them on and kind of press on the side and you're good. There you got booties. Yeah. All right, then you want to go to the arms. This, these arms are kind of tedious to to a way or in a way. You just want to slide them on and put them over that wheel. Um, if you slip, be careful. Uh, just try not to slip. And you just yeah, you, pretty much everything on this is just slide it on and wait for it to click. Um, you take this chest piece. I like to pop this out from the back before I put it in just so it already happens but this decal which reminds me of Predaking comes out you want to push it in up here or just rest it there and then uh, go down to the crotch piece and snap that on and everything will come together take these back pieces left on left right on right Then you take the helmet, and you crown your star. And there you have Protector all assembled on Rodimus Convoy, Rodimus Prime Hot Rod, Rodimus Hot Rodimus, I don't care what you call him. He is now Rodimus Prime entirely. Um, the only thing that sets me off is the head sculpt. I think it has too much detail, and it's too rounded. That's the only thing. Everything else can pull off hot rod pretty well. Um, I, I like I said, I am kind of surprised with this set. I didn't have too much high hopes for it. I am glad though he let me borrow it. I am, I am impressed. I still would really, really, really much like to get my hands on my own city commander. Uh, and then this guy, then maybe an RC from another fans thing. I'm still weary, kind of scared about Warbot, don't want that breaking. Plus, it's pretty expensive, and I already have Universe Springer, so I don't know about Warbot in the future. But here you have Protector. Um, articulation, he has, he has, this one actually added more articulation. His head still rotates 360, it kind of pivots a little bit. His shoulder can rotate 360. Go in and out at the bicep now, rotate the bi bicep now. Bend at the elbow, uh, rotate at the wrist now. No waist articulation still, but I don't know how they would engineer that without cutting it in half. Um, uh, don't take the arm off. These go forward and back still. Well, forward, they never really went back. Bend at the knee, and the foot pivots still. Technically, you can get some pretty good poses out of them. Out of the armor, whatever you choose. Shadow Scyther, um, you can also do the same thing with. And yeah, get a shot here, protector. But yeah, that's pretty much protector. I don't really know what else to say. You can see all the detail on them. You can see I show up their articulation. Um, it uh, the bow station is pretty much what you see. Uh, carrier is a little hot wheels car, which is kind of fun to uh, just fiddle around with. A protector is a high quality. Like the plastic feels great. I'm really really pleased with that. Um, if you guys have any questions about it. Uh, even though I'm giving it back tomorrow, uh, I will still be able to answer questions. Please comment your questions, and I will get back to them as soon as I see them. Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you enjoyed. I'd really enjoy some feedback in the comment section. I would really enjoy some thumbs up or thumbs down. Just tell me what you liked or disliked, whatever. Subscribe if you liked it. Uh, getting close to um, 600 subscribers. Yeah. Well, all right. Uh, thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for letting me borrow a protector, man. Till all are one.